basic principles of an internal combustion engine are mixing air and fuel and burning it to create power. Now, through the years, there have been many different changes in how that air and fuel are mixed and delivered, but the principles are all the same. Control how much air enters the engine and mix the right amount of fuel with that air. Now, since the invention of the engine until roughly the mid-1980s, just about every vehicle on the road used a carburetor. Fuel gets pumped up from the tank and it's stored into these little reservoirs or a fuel bowl. And it's delivered into the engine with these small tubes using the Venturi effect. Basically, the faster the air moves by it, the more fuel gets sucked along with it. Engine speed is controlled by how much air is allowed in. So as you press the accelerator, these plates or throttle blades open up. After that, the air and fuel mixture is distributed to all cylinders by the intake manifold. Starting in the mid-80s, TBI or throttle body injection got its 15 minutes of fame, and it was one of the first versions of fuel injection. Now, it kind of went away from mainstream use, but it's come back in recent years due to the rise in popularity of self-learning EFI systems like this one. Now, these do look similar to a carburetor, but they work much differently. Pressurized fuel enters from the pump, gets regulated, and excess is returned to the tank. The pressurized fuel then sits in this cavity surrounding the injectors. When the computer sends a pulse to the injector, fuel sprays down onto the throttle blades. Just like in the carburetor, when the throttle is opened, more air goes into the engine and RPMs increase. Multi-port fuel injection has been around since the early 90s on most American cars, and in many cases, it's actually still used today. Now, the manifolds look much different from a TBI or a carbureted setup. The biggest difference is there's no fuel that actually passes by the throttle plate. Its only job is to control how much air goes into the engine. Now, it's called multi-port. What that means is there's an injector in each intake port. And you can see the tip of the injector sits right in the path. And basically, it will spray fuel almost right through the intake valve into the engine. Now, pressurized fuel comes from the pump and enters this rail, which is common to all eight injectors. It'll sit here under pressure from about 40 to 60 PSI until the computer pulses the injector, letting fuel into the engine. Each of these systems has its pros and cons, and the debate of which one is best will never be solved. But if you want an efficient daily driver, then you might choose a multi-port setup. And many guys argue that for all-out power and performance, you can't beat a carb. And if you want to modernize an old-school engine, then a TBI conversion might be the way to go.